the fact that they've stacked up, they've kind of allowed the enemy to default around. Dark goes into the back, doesn't left. necessarily spot anybody out. Oh, and flash point, and oh, the right clicks up close and personal. Jesse Bosch gonna be good for two before he goes down. Neth finding that kill now, just gonna be two left alive versus four. Bazzy will find one before falling. Now just 45 HP in a dream, and that is not going to come to fruition. Can't get anything else done. Uh, bad, <laughs> frankly. Yeah. That's that's the nicest way I can put it. You're gonna feel bad. Wits is just gonna be sticking through with the Sheriff. Nice Only job. spent a little bit to try to get a blast pack and a boom bot out. Fisker finds a very nice opening kill on the dispenser, just getting that rush up the ramp, catches him in the head, finds a second one as dubstep. Swings just a little bit too wide. Just around the corner, though, is Jesse Vash. He does have that judge in hand, waiting out around the smoke. Shifts over to the side, throws out a slow orb to try to stop up the enemy. Getting Ooh. in onto the site, and Fisker off screen is going to manage to find a third. There's Vash taken down. Zade finds the kill, and it's just Wits. He's got the judge, wants to try to push the envelope here. Gets right in on top of Fisker, will manage to find one. So now the flawless round is going to be off the table for the side of Crazy Raccoon. Let's see how much more damage Wits can get. Throws out the boom bot, it's going to shift his attention back towards heaven. You can see that there is, of course, some value to be found out of a Sova here. Batsy is going to finish the round off with a headshot and a Wits, but now Fisker, gonna see, curious to see what he wants to do off of this. There is that rolling thunder. He's gonna dash ahead of it. It comes across, manages to find one over by screens. Cloudburst covering him from the back angle. Manages to stay safe for now. Just hot on left. his heels, manages to catch him with his rifle tucked away. Fisker now does fall, 4v3. Trying to get their way out of heaven. They finally rotate around through the elbow, get into the back of the A site. Nice shot from Bazzi, finds Dubstep in the head. Red's gonna be coming out over in screens, but Munchkin, Presses in, manages to claim both. This is really nice work here by Fisker to get so deep with that rolling thunder, of course, from Neth. Gives him a great opportunity. Neth's gonna find Borkum as well, trying to come in. Vitz, the last one alive, not gonna happen. It's gonna be Botsy. It's here on the side of Team Secret. Nobody's pushing through mid mail to try to open up a little crossfires, a little bit of extra space. So let's see if we can find some more blades here. There it is, spots him. Eyes down. And just to get him in three, gets that reset, looks for another, but Bazzi says no. Cuts him down with the Vandal, but there's the blind coming through. Nate will put the Sova in the ground. Now it's gonna be a 3v2. Weapon advantage still gonna be there for Grizzly Raccoon as Ade manages to find Dispenser on the right rotate there. over towards the B side. Strikes him down. His wits starting to aggress forward into this smoke. It's a very aggressive move, but they actually managed to find the kill. Neth goes down. Now it's all on Ade. 14 seconds remaining. The spike down just at the exit of the garage. The nade trying to buy some extra time. He spots one. The blast pack pushing him away. And Porkum with the recovered vandal finds the kill. But now there's just going to be a tailwind. And oh boy, Fisker picked off. Jesse Bash is saying, nope, I am not having none of that. Cuts down the entry. Munchkin will manage to find Wits, though. Borkum just going to be rotating away. Gets himself tucked across the left side. This time, though, doesn't know which target to pick. Ends up falling. And Jesse Bash not going to be good for the kill on Nat as he tries to enter. Dubstep creeping forward. And despite the fact that Dispenser's the only one left, they still will go ahead and invest in the old death. They certainly want to make sure that they get this kill. Right now, for Crazy Raccoon, nobody's really budging much on the side of Team Secret. Yeah, it looks like they were looking for a fairly similar setup as we saw from Team Liquid yesterday. Nice little lurk through there. Orkum finding Ade. Good headshot, gets the punish. Now a lot of that vision now going to be taken away from the side of Crazy Raccoon as they try to execute it onto the side. Wits is looking to anchor. Finds one, blind comes out. He's going to let the paint shells go loose. Follows up with a second kill. Now going to be looking for a little bit more. Turns away from the flash point. Can't quite get it over top of Neff. Ends up falling, and suddenly we have a 2v2 with a spike being planted. Rolling Thunder can be used on the back end of this to try and deny the defuse. Actually, we'll just go ahead and open with it. Gets the push out onto one. Orkum using the TP, keeps himself set up behind the map. Shot comes down from Neth. The lurk around the back, gets him in the head. Now Munchkin has to push forward, still just holds onto the operator. Orkum pulls away from it, spots him in the shoulder, gets a couple shots off, damages him up, tags him down to 16. One more shot and that'll be the finish, and Munchkin has to play this so patiently, so perfectly. Gets the tap, gets the kill! The protection from the push in heaven, which Hade is going for right now. Makes any noise, just go ahead, turn around the corner. That's gonna be the paranoia flying out. Fisker finds two though. Jesse Bash and Borkum both gonna be taken down. Dubstep, you're on the site. Oh, somehow doesn't nail the shot. 
It's a smattering of damage out. It's Munchkin and Neth have been tagged up, Fisker as well, but for the most part, this is looking like a very clean round from the side. The crazy raccoon. Dispenser wants to try to turn the tides, though. Finds one as, as he lurks around the pack. Wit's gonna be dead on entry. Dark goes out. It's trying to check heavy. See too much. Dubstep turn in the corner. Keeps from screen. Finds Munchkin. Strikes him down. Three ults still available here for the side of Crazy Raccoon. Can they utilize them? That's going to be the Rolling Thunder coming through. Now the Hunter's Fury finally going to be used. Let's see if Bazzi can come up with anything. Into the back here at elbow is Fisker. Looking for one. Doesn't find too much of anything, but Dubstep actually collapses in on top of him. Manages to win out in that exchange. Fatal now going to be recovered. Borkum and Dubstep both alive versus Bazzi and Ade. Ade down to 33 HP. Spike. He's just sitting over in this corner. Dubstep's gonna put it on the floor, though. Finds the eliminations, looking for just a little bit more. Bazzi charging forwards, looking for the elimination, but Borkum pushes out from above, gets the headshot, and there you go. 8-4 on the half. Team Secret. Really cheeky setups. It does feel like the Sova would at least lend itself to be a little bit better on the defender side, comparatively. Sure. But, uh, well, they still lose one. Not, not, uh, not Bazzi's fault, though. That's Fisker getting a little overzealous and some nice shooting from the side of Team Secret. Not a nice little first blood, Bazzi. Potentially thinking about peeking out of the top of ramp. Obviously doesn't have a drone. Just going to be going for the ghost double shock setup. Cam goes out. Neth knows there's at least one right around the corner. Sends out a couple shots. Bazzi going to be taken down at the top of the ramp. And that is enough for Team Secret to feel satisfied. They say, okay, let's go ahead and rotate back through. It's a pretty good opportunity, actually, in a way for Crazy Raccoon to turn this odd man situation around. I mean, Neth is really beat up, but he's going to be locking down A. You have all of the right defender's utility here. Adi and Munchkin are both on this B side. We're all going to go up. Should be a relatively... Oh, no, nope. he's going to get aggressive on this. Munchkin sees him through the smoke. It's one. Trap wire yet yeah, sets him up with a vision. Manages to find wit. However, Spike still going to be getting planted here. Dubstep just holding it down. The push comes in, but Dispenser has a perfectly timed peak from back sight. Catches Ade right in the side of the skull. And with 20 H 28 HP, I think it might be done there for Neth. Yeah, Dispenser going to find four in the pistol. All right, little jiggle out there from Munchkin. Says, yep, I see a fair few people getting ready to push the site. Trap wire going to be broken. Wits again just blast packing himself into the back. Looks like he might have even slowed up a little bit. Let's get spotted. Bazzi, handle in hand, will find a nice headshot on a dubstep. Taking one down. Aftershock to further delay the plant. Spots Wits. The spray comes in from the Spectre, and even at that range, Wits will get the better of him. Smash is lurking around inside of the nebula right now. Has to bring the spike in onto the side. Gravity Welt comes in, tries to pull them together, but as Fisker goes for the push, he's just going to fall. 8 HP remaining for Neth. Munchkin going to be clipped in the skull as Dispenser finds yet another one. Neural Depth nearly online for him. Not that he's going to need it in this round. Just Ade trying to do anything here. Spike planted. Any extra kills they could get, well, it's helpful. The likelihood of them getting four in this round to try to turn the tide of it doesn't seem very good. This is going to be unbelievable difficult with eight health. I mean, you might get this one around the corner, not even going to find that. Wits is ready for him, no problem. Just sits behind the box. Going down, Neth, holding onto the fault line, ready to pull the trigger and try to set up Fisker here. It's paranoia. Oh, they spot one. Astra right there at the top of the ramp. Daze is going to be coming in. The push comes out from Ade. Neth turns the corner with a phantom in oh! hand, manages to find two. Ade cleans up another two, and suddenly it's just Borkum left alive. Full HP and armor. Phantom in hand versus two sheriffs. Bazzi and Munchkin, the Korean duo here from Crazy Raccoon. Can they get it done? Can they clutch this out? Or does Borkum put Team Secret one step closer to closing out split? Well, he's got a good gun for it, but the there sheriffs said he isn't looking in the right direction. Munchkin catches him in the side of the head. Weapon. Wall goes up. Wits leading the charge, needs to try to clear the back side. Bazzi exactly actually going to be taken right. down. Good kill from Dispenser. Cuts around, there's the near old theft. Wits just gonna be spraying away with the Phantom. Finds the kill now, Munchkin. Player standing. Eliminated as well. Stuck there in hell. Push on the corner. Dispenser's good for the headshot as he often is. And it seems like it's just gonna be a solo entry into heaven from Dubstep. Oh, he's got Borkum there to back him up, I suppose. Blast packs come in, and Munchkin right side of the wall, but only managed to find one kill. Adi now gonna be taken left. down. Wits finds that elimination. Two around by Alley and look at this. Yep, Borkum, he's got the plant set up over at A. Nice little TP from him. Cheeky stop from Team Secret as they look to put an end to this first map. Push comes in, gets a couple shots in on the Fisker, takes him down to 17 HP. Jumps back across, stays safe, actually finds wow. Dubstep, and Wits goes down suddenly. This looks a little bit more winnable here. Dispenser's gonna be setting up the cam. 
Shifts over. Let's look into heaven, but it's gonna be a double approach from the side of screens. They have to be ready to clear this close angle from Borkum. Dark spots one, there's the finish. Bazzi manages to turn around, gets a headshot, but he's running low on time, and Dispenser won't give him the time of day. In fact, he's gonna be tagged down at 46 HP. Well, everybody else on the side of Team Secrets able to successfully pull back onto the A site and stay safe. Gonna have one tucked away just at the top of the sewer left. access. Fisker rushing forward, Jesse Bash going to fall. Nice shots there from Munchkin. Fisker comes up with two, gets dubstep, follows up for wits. Just like that. Tides certainly are shifting. Crazy Raccoon with five members strong. So gonna hold off Borkum and Dispenser now. See if they can get anything done. Yeah, this is good utilization of the utility to buy time here. And the Astra smokes with the, the breach utility. Just keep it going. Nat's gonna lock it down. Munchkin finishes the job. A flawless pistol round for Crazy Raccoon. I haven't got to do it yet. I know, that'd be great. Oh, we'll see if they can get it done. It would be absolutely massive. Dubstep going to get that tap there onto Munchkin. Munchkin. Down to 49. Obviously no way to heal him up. They don't have a sky. Throw coming through. Get the dart into him. Blinds now coming through. Fisker again getting his entry. Spots oh. just sprays away with the Spectre. Manages to come up with a kill, but it's going to be two on the return. Just finding one. Spencer moves in with the Frenzy. He finds another. Borkum puts Ade down. He's got a Marshall in hand. He's only loaded with one bullet right now. He's going to take his time. Put a couple more in, shifts over, grabs the Spectre, gets himself situated. It seems like Neff is very well aware of his position. And there's the Nebula coming up. He rotates to the side, and Bork comes ready on the jump. It's a thrifty turnaround. Look at what Jesse Bash did. Kill. Look at, they, they, you know, you, if you're Crazy Raccoon, had they gone over to see... Getting so much info. Yeah, they they might have suspected o Dubstep. Oh, goes for the push, but it's just good for the kill. But as he tries to rotate back, get that bot set up on top. Dispenser says, nope. Clips him in the skull. Jesse Bash, however, does fall. That means that the C site is unoccupied. Clock point out on the corner. Shots coming in. Wit's going to be good for one. Falls down 45 HP. Splash goes out. Looks for a target. Doesn't see anybody. Needs to try to clear that cubby. Nebula in the back. Dispenser's got just enough vision to spot one. Gets on it. Puts a little bit of damage out. And that's going to be the lockdown now available. Throws it back corner. Little sliver of space for Munchkin to tuck away in. The Rolling Thunder is going to be used as Net pushes nice. into the garage. Gets the Spencer now. It's Wits all in his lonesome. Tries to move out through C Long. He, however, this has got to go well. Fisker dashing forward, spots one. Cloud Burst to try to cover. Fisker going to take a little bit of damage from Munchkin's shock dart. Tucked away over in short. Jesse Bash comes up with two. He's looking for a bit more. Can't quite get a third. Does end up falling. Fisker going to be good for one, but Wits and Borkum have arrived. Trying to get the catch with the fault line as well. Slows him up for just a little bit, but now they need to push in. They're running out of time. 20 seconds remaining. Medusa makes his way forward. It's just on the outskirts of the gravity well. Bit of a daze out onto Borkum, but as that dissipates, he manages to find a kill. Two quick ones from Dispenser. Ooh. Shots oh, Medusa, Medusa. No. Rough spot. Ooh, we got out. I think it actually oh, went no, behind didn't. him. No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I take it back. Yeah, no. <laughs> This is so good from Team Secret. They play off each other so well at Kilios. Yeah, it's really great. I love that they're constantly moving around the map. It's very much flowing. There's the shot. Dispenser's gonna be good for one, but Fisker she recovers. Sheriff finds the second shot. Very nicely done as Wits tries to break open the garage. Grabs the gun and uh, sees that. Tries to go for the flick. Fisker says no, finds the another headshot. Jesse Bash still lurking at A. Will find the kill on to Munchkin. Now Borkum just looking to put this round into their favor, but will end up falling. Good from Ade. Stays alive. Now just has the 1v1 versus Jesse Bash. Get that done. Crazy Raccoon will stop the moment. See you secret at least for a moment. Trying to cut this off. Give himself one angle. Nebula's coming up. A little bit of ring around the rosy. He's going to get himself up onto the planks. And Jesse Bosch is good for the headshot, as he so often is. Turret, they get the information that they're on there. They're able to ping it, shoot it down, clean it out. Now the garage is open, and now they have to respect that. Okay. Cutting across the side, support position from Jesse Bosch. Manages to find one, but Munchkin replies oh, in kind with a nice little headshot. Rolling Thunder now going to be used. Only catches one. It's going to be Wits playing back inside of the link. Upsip still sticking around in sewer. Managed to find that elimination onto Medusa. Now they don't have that lockdown to try to utilize here in the round. Daze is coming out. Ade moving forward. We'll find one. Dump step and Wits both going to go down. Spencer comes up with another. Lockdown looks to flush them out of the site. Spike not planted. Looks like they're just going to go ahead, go on a walkabout, head over to either B or C. Yeah, Munchkin caught in no man's land in that smoke right by the link. But they're able to rotate. 
because of this defender's lockdown. Left. And now the garage is clear. They're able to get through that easy. That gives them a little extra time. Now there are the stars here. That gravity well is going to drag Neth off by themselves sometime. Try to delay this plant a little bit longer. Get into position. Look at this flank from Dispenser. Oh, spots him in the astral form. Kanade just doesn't have enough time to try to really stabilize and understand what's going on. Gets struck down and now the rough tidings. Ford Neth manages to find one. Got the fault line out onto Dispenser. Turn comes down, he's looking for the kill, but the Spencer. They're really just keeping Crazy Raccoon at bay, not really giving them much opportunity, countering things with the right utility at the right time. The lockdown puts Crazy Raccoon in a horrible spot and just gets swatted away. Oh, Fisker has just not been having a you good day run. today. Are they going to be taking down the step? They managed to trade it back. Medusa fighting two. That's going to be rather huge for them. Aftershock should clear the lockdown, and it does, and wits. Just putting this round on his back. Says, I'll get rid of the Killjoy utility. I'll get rid of everybody. He got these rounds, so getting him off the table, definitely a good look for them. Borkum, though, he's got an operator in the back of the site. Hunter Spear is going to come through and try to flush him out. Going to get tagged up once, manages to avoid the last one. Now Hunter Spear coming in to try to apply some extra pressure against the side of Crazy Raccoon. Borkum manages to swing wide, gets yet another pick before Fisker takes him down. Hunter Spear finds one, which will get another, and it's the last round, so why the hell not? Pops the rolling thunder, sees Munchkin in the corner. Team Secret, what a thrifty. The turret really turned the tide, but... <laughs> Oh, getting that first pistol would be huge. And Spencer, a little bit of a whip there at the beginning, still manages to stabilize for one, but Fisker will trade it back. One exchange, turn away Borkum. All of Crazy Raccoon's here! Stay alive. Yeah, they're just all piled up what into the this? garage. Team Secret already have that spike planted, and Dubstep is just shutting them out one by one. Dart goes forward, shows that somebody's waiting inside of the nebula. Four members strong versus two, Medusa and Fisker. Can they do anything at all? They've already taken a significant amount of damage as well. Just go down to about half HP. Shots flying through, and there you go. Dubstep cleans it up. I was just really, really hoping, but it just wasn't meant to be. They just were not prepared this? for this. Dart is going into the stratosphere. What in the world? This is one of the slowest starts I've ever seen. on the roof? I don't know. Either way. Is it bounce? Concealment. I, like, I don't even care that Neth got a kill. I'm so fascinated. Where does this land? What? Uh, what? Uh, I don't even care what's going on in the screen. It okay. landed at the corner of A, men, a entrance. Okay. Well, back into the action we go. Jesse Bosch has gotten a kill. Munchkin, Munchkin taken down. We have a 4v4. Workum and Neth planted. both similar on HP levels. A little bit of a bounce there coming through. Trying to get a catch on to anybody. Does not, but Spike has been planted in Team Secret are in this to win it. Crazy Raccoon playing for the tournament lives right now. Need to run it back. 10 consecutive rounds. This would be the first step. Medusa's gonna find one. Jesse Bosch take it out. But Dubstep throws the knives, manages to find one. Can't quite get the second. Medusa is looking to keep them in the game. He goes for the push, but Borkum looking in hell with 20 HP. Finds the shot. They're so evenly matched as far as health is concerned. 20 versus 15, Borkum's got the hit. It's the Red Bull Clutch and Team Secret. They stay in the tournament. 13-2 on Haven. They eliminate Crazy Raccoon. Uh, just a dominant performance. Devastating to Crazy Raccoon. These guys were in control of this almost the entire time. From the get-go, from the opening pistol on split until the end. And Medusa giving a bit of a hug over here. I know, guys. It's been a phenomenal year for Crazy Raccoon in their region. They're able to qualify uh, for basically everything. They were the best team in their region all year, but...